fight coming up next. It's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Control in the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov is second to none. One of the most damaging, dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is a man of principle, and no one knows better than you. There may be guys who work as hard in the game, but no one works harder than him. Nobody works harder. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Havana, Cuba, the king! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, only professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimagomeda! Okay, could take yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Yeah, he fixed it all up. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Fine knee, and it finds the target. He referenced his size advantage off the top, and the taller fighter is able to land a monumental strike there. Great punch landed with so much power. Takedown defense holds up. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Bucky. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Big punch from the clinch. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Mago Medov gets caught by that straight punch. Beautifully landed by the opposition. And they separate. Oh, single collar tie here. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Single collar tie. And they separate. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Oh, collar tie. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face. Nurmago Medov's going for the sub here. 
Gotta be careful, arm bar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. And this might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. That's working. You know that is how it should happen, folks. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Effective punch there by Nabokko Meta. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Right hand punch in the clinch. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Unable to connect with the right. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high crotch. 45 seconds remain in the rest. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. So 37 total strikes are now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. <laughs> 20 seconds left. <laughs> Nurmagomedov shot is blocked. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Listen, if you just let your hands go, the whole fight will be over. We don't have to worry about nothing else. Throw me a left and a right in there, man. He's not covering his face. Get him to the body. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, cut their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, DC, here we go as our next round gets Ready? underway. And if you like Muay Thai Ready? striking, and if you like knees, that previous round was the one for you. He does such a phenomenal job of getting into position to find those knees, whether he has an underhook, whether he has a collar tie, whether he's in a tie clinch, he just finds positions to drive those knees into his opponent's body or his legs. Blocks the shot. Oh, misses with the jab. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Got hand skills for days. Beautiful combination of punches to the head. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! Straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, nice right hand. Takedown defense holds up. Knee to the body. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Nice elbow lands on the inside. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these guys. Strikes here before the opponent. You got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop. Got to defend, but you can see him now start to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, and he connects with the punch there, DC. You like this guy? I like this guy a ton, and to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face.
Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking clip. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Nice one-two there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no so. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to take that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Transition to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. And attack an armbar. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that armbar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it. Yes. Oh, he keeps attacking that left eye. Now it's starting to close. Well, pretty good work off at the bottom here by Nurmagomedov. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Nurmagomedov. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice work from the boss. Tags him with the punch. Sound strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And you understand, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, working inside the now open. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Magomedov gets caught with that punch. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him up. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 24 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the king!
Right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that'll be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.